Do you know 67% recruiter check their employee LinkedIn profile before hiring? 72% recruiter use LinkedIn when hiring new talent. Every minute, eight people are hired on LinkedIn. So if you are a university student looking for either internship or full-time job, or if you are an experienced professional looking to switch companies, having a good and professional LinkedIn profile is a must. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a solid LinkedIn profile with the help of AI. Wait, did I just say AI? Well, you heard it right. So stay tuned till the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to boost your LinkedIn profile with the help of artificial intelligence for better reach. Also, I've noticed one thing that around 70% of people visiting my channel are not my subscriber. So if you are someone who is watching this video and have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would really want you to do that right now because I come up with all such amazing content every week. And not only that, it also motivates me in creating more such amazing videos. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Hey everyone, this is Shabbir Anandwala from Escoation and welcome back to my channel. I have divided a basic LinkedIn profile into three sections. First one is pictorial information. Pictorial information is the profile picture and the banner that you see on your LinkedIn profile. I'm assuming that you have one. If you have noticed something, that your profile photo and the banner occupy the most space, meaning that whenever a recruiter is visiting your LinkedIn profile, then that will be the first thing that they will notice. So we need to get this thing right. LinkedIn has also mentioned in their blog post that a profile with a picture are 14 times more likely to be viewed by others. So we have to make sure that we have a really good picture in our LinkedIn profile. And in order for us to do that, follow these five golden rules. First, it should be recent. Second, 60% of the frame of the photo should be your face. Third, you should be wearing professional looking clothes. Four, it should be only our photo. Fifth, you should be looking towards the camera. Second one is banner. Since it occupies a lot of space, recruiters should get the idea by just looking at your banner. So let's say for example, if you are a software engineer, then your banner should be designed in such a way that anyone visiting your mm. profile should get the hint that, okay, this guy is from software engineering. And if you want to design a really amazing banner, then you can always go onto internet. There are lots of free tools out there. But I would personally recommend you guys to use Canva. It is a free tool and it's amazing for you to design your LinkedIn banner. So go and check out Canva. Second is adding a profile section. It is recommended to add as many relevant information as you can in your LinkedIn profile because it not only helps in boosting your profile, but it also helps in increasing reach and engagement on your profile. If you go onto your LinkedIn profile, then you can see add profile section. It's been divided mainly into three areas. There are quite a few, but I'm going to cover only those areas which are really important for you to get a job. So if you click on the first one, then you can see that add education. It is really important for you to add your education because it lets recruiter know what background you're coming from. Second is add position. It is mainly for experienced professional who has some sort of work experience so they can add their work experience here. Add skills is another very important section. Also as per LinkedIn, profile with more than five skills have higher chances of getting contacted by recruiter than profiles with lesser than five skills. So make sure that whichever field you want to go into, so add all the relevant skills that you have. On to next is recommended. In this section, you can add any courses or certification that you did, or if you got any recommendation by someone. So if you come onto this section, add licenses and certification, you can add any certifications that you have. For example, if you have any digital marketing certification or if you did any course, so you can add it here. If you did some extra course from online learning platform, then you can add it here. Over here, you can add any recommendation. For example, let's say if you're in a university and if your college professor is saying something nice to you, then they can add a recommendation on your profile section and it will highlight on your profile. Third is additional. As you can see from the name, it means that any additional information that you want to provide. I would say if you are a university student, if you did any volunteering work, then you can add it over here in this section. Another very important one is add projects. So let's say if you are a bachelor's or a master's student, and if you did any project in university, then don't forget to add it in this section because when you are a fresher and applying for a job, then recruiter always looks for some kind of experience and adding this project will look very good on your LinkedIn profile. Also, if you have received any honors or awards in your university, then you can add it here as well. If you have proficiency in more than one language, then it is worth adding that in your profile section as well. Once we are done filling up the profile section, the next one is about section. 
This is the most important section in your entire LinkedIn profile and the reason why I have kept this in the end because you always have to optimize your about section. Whenever someone who is interested in your profile and who is visiting your profile, they will definitely have a read at your about section because it is a summary of your entire LinkedIn profile. So you have to make sure that whichever field you are going into, so you are optimizing your about section to include all the keywords that your recruiter is searching for on LinkedIn. And if you want to know how to optimize your about section, I am going to show you in just one minute. And if you have followed me in the starting of the video, I have mentioned that I am going to show you how to boost your LinkedIn profile with the help of AI. Well, this is where we are going to use the help of chat GPT and another AI tools to optimize our about section. And if you want to know how to do that, let me show you now. So the first thing that you have to do is to look for jobs that you want to apply for, copy the job description and then come onto this website called World Cloud Generator. It's an AI tool which generates keyword based on the job description. It's a free tool. All you have to do is just paste your job description in this text box and click on Generate Cloud. Once you click on Generate Cloud, it will give you all the relevant keywords based on the job description. Copy all the relevant keywords and then come back onto ChatGPT. I have used a particular prompt which is basically asking ChatGPT to write an about section for our LinkedIn profile based on the keyword that has been generated by World Cloud Generator and the resume that we already have. All you have to do is copy this about section and paste it on your LinkedIn profile and your about section is ready with all the relevant keywords. So whenever if you are applying for a job or if your recruiter is looking to hire someone in that field, then your profile will be on the top. If you want to know the prompt that I have used in ChatGPT, then don't worry, I have added it down for you guys in my description. So go check out. The last section is final touch up. It is nothing but the introduction to a LinkedIn profile that you can see on the top. You can access this information by clicking on the edit info button, which requires you to fill basic info, current position, education, location, contact info and website. Most of the sections are self explanatory, but there are two main elements that you need to focus on. The first one is headline. Headline is the information that you see just below your name. So whenever someone is visiting your profile, the first thing that they notice after your name is your headline. We need to make sure that our headline is optimized based on the job that we are looking for. So let's say for example, if you want a job in digital marketing, then instead of writing seeking a job opportunity in digital marketing, you should write digital marketing enthusiast. Or if you are looking for an internship, then instead of writing seeking an internship, you can write seeking a summer internship. So try to be more specific so that your recruiter can know what you're looking for. And how to do that? I can recommend you a website which is called Resume Award. I have used it personally and it's a really amazing tool. You can use this tool to generate headlines for your LinkedIn profile. So I would really recommend you to go and check out this website. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope that you found the video informative. If you did, then please make sure to hit the big fat thumbs up. If you are someone who is new to my channel, then please make sure to subscribe my channel because I come up with all such amazing content every week. With that being said, bye for now.